Hello and welcome to Students of Torah. This year is entitled Woman Learning Gemara, Shear number two, the position of the Prisha, the Chida, and the Taz. We learned in the previous year that a woman who learns Torah, they get schar for doing a mitzvah, even if not obligated to perform the mitzvah, they get reward for it. But the rabbi said something fascinating over here. They said that women should not be taught tomorrow, man should not teach a woman Torah. If it's Torah Shabbal Peh, then it's as if teaching a tiflu is foolishness, something negative, clearly. And if it's teaching Torah Shabbat they should not, man should not teach Torah Shabbat the written 24 books of the Torah. But if he did teach her one of the 24 books of the Torah, it's not, tiflu is not considered to be uh, negative, whatever the tiflu mean. And Yetzir Shem will analyze that also in future Shiorim. So what does that mean? We left it with a question in the previous Shior. That means that you can't teach woman Torah. Not Torah Shabbat Torah or Torah Shabbat Either one. Just the only difference is Torah Shabbat It's tiflus. It's wrong. It's foolishness. She'll misunderstand it. But either way, it's wrong. So no one is observing this halacha here. So we have the Prisha and Reish Mem Vav. Commentary in the Torah. Yoridei and Reish Mem Vav. The Prisha has a fascinating point. He writes that a woman is allowed to learn Torah. That no one says differently. She can learn. So she's learning. And we see she really is understanding it well. And she's not misunderstanding and not misconstruing in any way. So then, in that case, we see she's taken out of the robe. And the Prisha says that when the Rambam, the Torah, and the Shulchan Aruch formulate the halacha, they say, they say, robe nashim. most women, they may not fully understand the Gemara properly. But let's say she is learning, and she proves to be on a high level, it seems from the preacher that in such a case, when she proved not to be uh, someone who will misunderstand it, then she's not part of any prohibition that exists, and then you could go ahead and teach her. So that's the preacher, and of course you could go in many directions with that preacher. The Birke Yosef, the Chidon, he writes that it says, Tzivu Chachamim. It doesn't say Aser, Tzivu. Tzivu Chachamim means that the rabbi said, that this is a dangerous thing, but they're not giving you the word iser. So when well, the rabbi said it's wrong to do an usser, we don't care. It's from Jews, we follow the rabbis. That's true. But if it's a mice iser, an iser no matter what, then you can't play around. Sivu means that this is our very strong advice, meaning that there might be room in different societies where women are understanding and learning different things, so maybe they could, in fact, understand Sarashbechtav and Sarashbechtav. So that also, the chida could be taken in different ways. Finally, we'll look at the Taz. The Taz in Reish Mem Vav, commentary on the Shulchan Aruch writes, wait a second, if you tell me you can't even teach Torah Shavachtav the 24 books of Chomish, what about Hakel? What about Hakel? The women all coming to learn in Hakel, so what, they close their ears because they're not allowed to listen to the Chumash. He says a basic shot in the Chumash, they can listen to Anashim Nashim Lishmoa, they can hear the Psukim. But more than that, that might be the problem. So that does not give a lot of leeway. We've seen three different opinions uh, of many. We're going to see more. So the Prisha is saying, well, the woman that we see, she understands on a high level. Ah, so maybe the prohibitions don't apply. It seems to be the priest would hold there is a prohibition. But the prohibition could be suspended in a case for a woman where she, she understands. So that could give an opening there. The Berkiosi says, the is not really an Isser, it's Sivu. Well, that may be, maybe women who are understanding and they're much more literate, maybe that would be subject to different understandings of different generations. And then finally, have the Taz, who just gives a little bit of an opening where he says that, that the Chumash, the prohibition is not for, to teach the word of Chumash, because that would be against the Pasuk of Hakel, where they did learn something. So, no, that to basically learn a simple level, that's Mutar. That doesn't give us a lot of room to work with. Yet, Hashem, and next year we'll see more of different Shitot as the generations go on, and how everyone understands this and how it's applicable, whether it's learning Gemara for the woman to learn Gemara, or even learning Perkei Avos. It's all Torah and Tosh Bechtav Shalopah that needs to be understood how it is done today in the Beis Yaakov world, the more modern world. It needs to be dealt with. Shalom.